Good afternoon, yogins. This is Amanda Shepherd Yoga, and welcome to Play Along Practice. Generally, these practices tend to be about a level two plus or two three, and they're not so much classes as they are just my personal practices narrated. Um, I let them evolve organically, so check the description to see what we do and make sure that you are uh, physically capable and have doctor's approval enough to do a fairly strong um, physical work. A lot of inversions, arm balances, hip opening, back bends, that kind of thing. And uh, all right, thanks for playing along. Let's get started. Usual suspects for um, your props. I've got a blanket, two blocks, and a strap behind me. Occasionally I use a wheel, but probably not today. And um, let's get started. We're gonna start in a reclined pose called Supta Baddha Konasana. So that's Supta reclined and then Baddha Konasana bound angle. And I'm um, going to have the soles of the feet together, knees out to the side. If you know that your inner thighs get tired quickly, you can have blocks and place your outer knees on the blocks. If you know you don't need them, you can put the blocks away and save them for later. Allow the um, hip bones, the aces to move in towards your belly just slightly, maybe lengthen your tailbone a little bit, and then just let your arms relax and you are comfortable. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Maybe the first couple out through the mouth. Allow yourself to accept the support of the earth, the support of the floor, and then let yourself draw your attention to your senses. Right? Feel what's touching you. It's your clothes, your mat, the earth, maybe the floor. Maybe allow your sense of touch to um, invite an extra layer of support to your energetic space. Notice the sounds around you. Maybe you hear cars, or if you have pets, you might hear them, or kids, other family members. Laundry machine in the background. And see if you can allow those sounds to be without having them disrupt your attention to your breath. And then draw your attention to the sounds inside the body, those little gurgles or things like that. During practice, if you start to notice any popping sounds um, or uh, feel anything that's like sharp and electric, you're gonna stop your practice and adjust and make maybe go to something a little simpler. And draw your attention to your thought space. If there's anything really needling, pulling you away from the breath, give yourself a moment, spend a little time, figure out what it is, and then let it go. Allow the breath to evolve belly up through the chest, exhaling chest to the belly. Once you start to even out the breath, see if you can start to let your 
energetic self get a more evenness to it. And then see if you can allow that evenness to transform into a sense of equanimity from the inside out. And then reach your arms overhead. Interlace your thumbs. So just the thumb knuckles. Spread the inner shoulders. Notice if you went into a back bend. If that's what you did, allow your two front ribs to knit together. So you're engaging the core, nice long torso. The angles of your knees might change. They might become a little bit um, closer to, uh, more towards the sky than towards the floor. Notice the elevation of your shoulder blades. Allow that to happen and then spread the collarbone. As the shoulder blades elevate, the collarbone spread. See if you can just gently let the arm bone, the humerus bone draw into the socket a little bit. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, let your arms come off to the side. You're gonna interlace your thumb knuckles the other way and rake the stars overhead. Keep that engagement of your core, maybe even fill out the uh, space in the low back. Try to lengthen all four sides of your waist evenly. And then with your next inhale, reach your right leg long. The left leg will stay where it is. So it'll almost be like a, a supta vrikshasana, supta uh, recline tree pose. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, ah, lift the arms, scoop the belly, lift the chest to the sky, and find John or Shirshasana. Belly button over the knee. You can let your hands come to your sides, framing that right leg. And push down with your hands and pull back no matter where they are so you get a little more length in the spine. Let your ribs square towards the earth. Try to lengthen the front of the body. Inhale, reach those arms to the sky. And as you exhale, let's just see if you can rock the baby, grabbing the outside edge of that left foot. And take a nice deep inhale here. And then as you exhale, maybe swaddle the baby. Reaching that inner left knee away. Starting to allow the hip to open. So you're looking for here. If you're not feeling anything, try to uh, lift your shin a little higher. Maybe make it a little bit more parallel or beyond parallel. And then draw the ankle towards you as the inner knee reaches away. I'm gonna keep a hold of this as you exhale, scoop your belly and roll it down. Check out your ankle, make sure there's no wrinkles in your inner ankle, and maybe reach out through the big toe mound. And then if you're still not feeling anything right here, just reach that left leg across the midline of the body a little bit, and that should start to light up the IT band. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. I'm gonna find Ardha Ananda Velasana. Maybe reach the leg away any amount. And then as you exhale, rebend the knee, bring the heel closer to your sits bone. And then I'm gonna like kind of bring the knee, scoop the knee out to the side and around and see if I can find a half lotus, Ardha Padmasan. Right toes turn out. I'm holding the left foot with my right hand for this iteration. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. I'm gonna reach that right leg to sky. And just see what it feels like to bend the knee and maybe touch the ankle to the outside of the knee. Soles of the feet together. 
Sutta Baddha Konasana. Reaching your hands overhead, just reaching the arms. See if you can grab your wrist with your right hand and just walk your torso over to the left side of the mat, getting a nice lateral stretch. Scoop the belly in, tailbone long. Sacrum's nice and easy on the mat. Back to center, you're gonna find it the other way. <laughs> as you lengthen that left side, reach out to the right side waist as well. Back to center. Let's reach the left leg long this time. You're gonna reach your arms to sky. So that was kind of hard coming up that way. Scoop your belly. You can use momentum with your inhale, lift that chest to sky. So sternum to sky, right? Belly button over the knee. Coming on down. Any way you like to use your hands, you can sit pretty upright, right? This is about lengthening, getting the space between the uh, those discs between the vertebra at their um, biggest potential to absorb load, right? So at their widest. Pulling your right ribs down. Inhale, sternum to sky, and just see if you can grab your outside edge of the foot. I'm gonna rock the baby a little bit. Sitting up nice and tall, maybe you wanna swaddle the baby. Some people like to take their arms underneath the forklift, that's fine. And again, you're looking for where the hip and thigh meet. If you're not feeling anything there, lift the shin and reach the inner knee away a little more. The ankle might come in a little closer. Breathing here. Tune your head, yes and no. I'm all wind blowing today, it was super windy. It is kind of fine to be outside. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, scoop your belly. You're gonna roll back down one vertebra at a time as best as you can. And then if you're still not feeling the outside of the leg, see if you can just very gently make the shin more parallel and bring that foot across the midline of the body. Just a little bit more and that should light it up pretty clearly. Occasionally people feel this in their hip flexor. Okay, nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Arha Ananda Balasana, maybe reach the heel away. And then bring that heel in towards your sits bones. You're gonna make like a semi-circle, right? Bring that knee around and just see if you can bring the heel towards the right heel, towards the left side of your belly button and then reach that inner knee away. Left toes turn out. And I have the leg in my, uh, the foot in my left hand. Breathing here. Notice if you're arcing the back, see if you can fill that space, right? So engage your core. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, reach that left leg to sky, bend the knee and see if you can bring the heel the ankle to, or not the heel, well the heel, the, the inner ankle to the outer knee. Reach the legs up. Reach your hands forward. Nice deep inhale here. Lift the shoulder blades. You're just going to pull your belly into the spine. Maybe 20 reps. Breathing here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fingers forward. Once again, sternum to sky, inviting Devasana boat pose. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, double pigeon. Right shin over the left, sitting up nice and tall. Um, if your knee is lifting, you can place a blanket or a block underneath it. Um, if it's lifting a lot, you're gonna bring your shin forward for Sukhasana.
reach the left arm up towards the sky, absorb the left ribs in. So you're gonna reach this way, right hand reaches out. Rolling the right ribs towards the sun. Inhale back through center, right arm underneath the left guard, asana arms, coming on forward. Inhale, lifting up, and as you exhale, left arm out to the side, right arm to sky, absorb the right ribs in, and just walk it over. Rolling left ribs to sky. Back up to center, left hand behind you, right hand's gonna reach across, just wrist to the um, arc of the foot for now, or outer knee. Looking over the left shoulder, go over the right shoulder, Back through center, you're gonna wiggle around, find your sits bones. Navasana, boat pose. Left shin over right, breathing here. Sukhasana or fire log. Right arm's gonna reach behind you, left arm to sky, absorbing those ribs in. Rolling the right ribs to the side. Inhale back through center, this time left arm under right, third asana arms, you can do a hug if you prefer. Exhale, coming down. Again, trying to make the discs between your vertebra at their um, most neutral, right? So you're not trying to have them compressing in any direction. Like, um, Inhale back through center, you're gonna reach the left arm to sky, or left arm to the side, right arm to sky, absorb the right ribs in. Maybe look underneath your right arm, maybe butterfly kiss. Inhale back through center, right hand behind you, left hand reaches across. Allow yourself to find your twist in your thoracic spine. So if it's attached to a rib, that's what you're moving. Left ribs moving towards the right, look over the right shoulder, look over the left shoulder, back through center. I'm gonna take a nice deep inhale here. Navasana boat pose. This time you're gonna bring the left leg down, bend that right knee, draw it into your chest. We're gonna take Marachasana A. Right arm reaches to sky. So I'm gonna lean over to the left and then come on down coming around and let my shoulder come in um, pretty low, right? I want my elbow to be pretty low into the shin. Reach your arm out to the side. Finding your clasp. Lengthening the um, front of the body over that left knee. My right sits bones off the floor. Inhale back through center. I'm gonna unwind and just rock the baby one more time. And I might stick with this. This might be plenty of work for me. Maybe if you want, you can bring that heel in, bringing that right heel to the outside of the left knee. Ardha Padmasana. Ardha Padma Jani Shirshasana. You're gonna reach that right hand around. Maybe even twist or grab your foot. You can use a strap here. Belly button over the knee and come on forward. Now my right hand wants to let go of that foot. If it needs to, I'm gonna allow it. But maybe I can hold on. Good, inhale, lift on up. As you exhale, Bring the left ankle underneath the right knee. I'm gonna take a nice deep inhale here. And as you exhale, little quarter turn. Right knee comes out to the side. Now just keep closing the left knee joint and maybe that leg comes on top. Use your toes, right, to hug the outer legs. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Find your sits bones. And grab your hands, sit up nice and tall. I always forget what this is called. 
breathing here. You can let your toes come around the upper arms. You're gonna plant your palms and lift on up this pendant variation. Exhale, bring it down. And then I'm gonna let my um, legs come to the floor and I'm gonna keep my lotus if I can and just walk it forward so I'm on my knees. Nice deep inhale here. Let's see if I can find some balance. I'm gonna use my feet to hug the legs together, find the lift in the perineal floor. I might stay on my fingertips and maybe find a spot on the floor that's not gonna move. Scoop your belly in, palms together, and then walk it out. Inner knees come down, you're gonna scoop the belly in, lengthen your tailbone, stay on your forearms. Breathing here, you might feel this. Um, kind of behind the legs on the outer hamstrings. If you feel it in your low back, scoop your belly in a little bit more. Good, inhale here, I'm gonna come back through center and I'm just gonna turn my wrists out. You can even go move a little bit, side to side. Take a nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm gonna bend my elbows and let my elbows come outside the belly button, and then reach the feet back. Moving through a, um, what is that? A Meyer Asana variation. Pedaling out the feet. First downward dog of the day. Shake your head yes or no. walk my hands back so that they're well probably about halfway on the mat. Might even bring my big toes to touch. I'm gonna lift my heels and bring the knees into the armpits. Finding crane or crow pose. Push the floor away. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, come on down and find your uh, Janna Shashasana actually with the right leg forward, left knee bent, closing the knee joint. I'm gonna lean out to the right side, reach that left arm to sky. And I wanna get that elbow very low on the shin. Maybe reach the left hand around and then the right, finding a clasp of the hands. If you're very, um, if you have uh, a really easy bind, you might find your wrist holding the left wrist with the right hand. And then lengthen the front of the body, bring the sternum over the toes. And just shake your head yes and no, soften the shoulders. And we'll come seated, I'm gonna take the foot with me. And I might just rock the baby. I might swaddle the baby and I might bring that heel in towards my sits bone and then like a saw come across left heel outside the right belly button. Finding Ardha Padmasana and then Ardha Padma Janushashasana. I'm going to reach the left arm forward, my right toes rather than up are going to turn out. So as I reach the arm forward, I'm gonna draw the arm bone into the socket and then reach the hand around. And hopefully the foot's right there. Okay. There it is. Breathing nice and easy. Refind my twist belly button over the knee and come on forward. And get a little benefit for the inner organs with the heel right outside the belly button. Just a little bit of a massage. You can even um, start to cultivate like a, 
Uddiyana Bandha or a, uh, almost a Nawi breath here. Get a little more out of that. So that's that churning breathing, right? Inhale, come on up. I'm gonna fold the right knee. If the knee is easily on the ankle, just gonna take that little half turn and keep the uh, right knee joint closed, bring the heel in and maybe get that leg on top, nice and tight, using my feet to hug it in, all right? Nice deep inhale here as I exhale, coming on up. Maybe clasping your hands the other way. You want your hands to get pretty low here. It's easier to find. Lengthening the spine. And I mean, obviously your spine's not gonna get bigger, but um, it's extending the spine, right? Plant your hands. You're gonna hug the uh, toes to the outer arms and lift on up. Bring it back down. Just see if you can stand on your knees. That might be where you are. Really use your toes here to keep the legs in tight. Find a spot on the floor that's not gonna move. Maybe balance. And then turn the hands out. walk it out. Actually, I forgot. You're going to come onto your forearms. You're going to keep your belly in. Push the tailbone nice and long. You might have one side that's easier than the other. Now, some people lay their chest down all the way here, and this is actually a lot easier than with the forearms down. So this is more accessible. However, if you want to get more out of it, keep your forearms on the floor. Try not just to, to dump into your low back, right? So keep some engagement. Walk your hands back in. And you're trying to bring your elbows pretty close right around the belly button. Moving through your Mayurasana variation. Pedaling out the heat, doing whatever you need to do. I'm just gonna take my sweatshirt off. You keep breathing in your Ajahn Mukha Svanasana. Awesome. All right. Shake your head, yes and no. All right, so I'm gonna walk my hands in. Big toes to touch. I'm going to lift my heels, nice deep inhale here as I exhale. Train your curl pose, try to straighten your arms. And I'm going to cross the right ankle over, very gently bring my knees in. And just immediately find that half lotus. I'm going to take a nice deep inhale here. As I exhale this time, just gonna lean to the right and fold the left leg back. Setting up for um, Bharad Vajasana, uh, good nutrition pose, right? So you really want that heel on the outside of the belly button. Um, if that doesn't work for your body, you can always take the foot into like a Janish or Shasana foot. You'll get the same, it's just a different variation. All right. I'm gonna reach that right arm forward. Hand comes around. Nice deep inhale here. Reach the left arm up, find my twist. And let my hand come to the outside. Wrist facing out. Left hand outside that right knee, linking the tailbone. Look over the right shoulder. Look over the left shoulder. Take it back through center. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, I'm just gonna lean to the right again. I'm gonna bring that left foot to the floor. Left arm to sky. I'm gonna come on through and bring that shin around. And maybe reaching that left arm behind me. I wanna get as low as I can. 
and then reach back with the right hand. Maybe you find a clasp and maybe you don't, folding over that leg. So your toes are there, right? And leaning here. Inhale, lengthen up. We're gonna undo the arm, and then we might just straighten out this left leg. Lean here. Gonna fold the left knee out to the side, externally rotating, inviting a lotus. Grab my arms with my feet, grab my hands. Lift up. And then as I exhale, I'm gonna come on forward. Keeping the belly in, breathing nice and easy. Turning the hands up, maybe bringing my pinkies a little closer together. As I push my hands into the floor, let those elbows come right to the low ribs right outside and reach it back. My Urasana variation. So my inner knee on this side is moving a little slower than the other side. Elbow and towards your heels. Reach it back around. Nice deep inhale here. I'm gonna walk it in, lift the heels, move the shoulders over the wrists as I exhale. I'm gonna bend my knees and then I'm gonna let my sternum go way forward. And maybe try to just a little pop into that bokasan. So I'm gripping the floor with the hands, forearms towards each other, biceps away from each other, triceps to the back of the room. So my external rotation, nice deep inhale here. We'll see if it works. Eh, a little, only okay. Nice deep inhale here. Try to straighten the arms. Left ankle comes on top. I'm gonna come on down. Breathing here. And then maybe immediately, I'm gonna go into that half lotus. All right, breathing nice and easy. I'm gonna. Fold that right knee in, and then, no, I'm not. I'm going to <laughs> unfold that um, right leg, leaning to the left side. And I'm just going to bring that right elbow down. I want to go down pretty low. Bring that heel, uh, left heel to the outside of the right belly button. I get nice and low, and I might set it up again. It's not really working, even though this is my tighter side. Let's find that. Tony Shoshasan. Come on up. Oh, I know what it was. Sorry. <laughs> Did Parag the Jasna first. So. I'm gonna bring that right knee forward, bring that left hand around. I'm gonna reach that right arm to the sky, I'm gonna twist and let my hand come to the outside. Breathing here. Looking over the left shoulder, draw the belly and lengthen the front of the body. Look over the right shoulder. Nice deep inhale here as I exhale. I'm gonna to lean to the side bringing that foot down, maybe even bringing the left knee forward a little bit. And see if I can reach around. I'm gonna get nice and low. There it is. Finding the fingers, belly button over the knee. Coming down forward. Shake your head, yes or no. You can feel your toes there, right? Good, inhale, lift on up. 
I'm gonna unwind. I'm gonna keep that heel in towards the sits bone and just find my full lotus. Breathing here. That was a little muddy, sorry about that. Maybe find your clasp. Maybe switch your hands. Find your lift. And then gently come on forward. Keeping the belly in. Come on back up. I'll show you from the side. Let my pinkies come maybe a little bit closer. Maybe not. Scooping the belly in. And from here, I want to let my elbows come. Right in the gut. I'm going to reach back. And then step the feet back. Mayurasana variation, pedaling out the feet. And find what feels good in your downward facing dog. Next inhale, I'm going to lift the heels, and as I exhale, I'm just going to bring the feet forward, and I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. I might just walk them up. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold, arms out to the side, do your reverse circle, or dvastasana, exhale, samastiti, breathing nice and easy. Let's start to move through some Surya Namaskara A variation. Arms to the sky, lifting up, maybe invite a little back bend. Exhale, diving in. Inhale, arms at Uttanasana, plant your palms, cover the heels. Chaturanga, forward of Mukha Svanasana, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Right, with your next inhale, big toes to touch. You're gonna lift the heels, set your gaze between the hands in front of the fingers. Bend your knees. Let your sternum move through the upper arms. Let's see if maybe you can catch. Take your time. You're gonna go slow. Bakasana, Crane or Crow pose. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Arms out to the side, coming all the way up, forward Vastasana. Exhale, Samastiti. Reach the arms, maybe invite a little back bend. Exhale, dive. Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. Through your vinyasa. Any adjustments you like to do. If your hamstrings are tighter, you're welcome to bend the knees, right? Maybe hug the leg muscles to the bone and the heels come down. You can lift the toes, hip points in, sits bones together. Inhale, lift the heels, big toes touching. Exhale, bend the knees. Allow your tailbone to reach towards your heels. And then sternum through the upper arms. So you want the spine long. Crane or crow pose. And this time let's come to a squat. All right, toes facing out. Sitting up nice and tall. Breathing here, shake your wrists out if they're tired. Bring the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Fly the arms if that's interesting. Maybe clasp. 
rolling right rib towards the left. Look over the left shoulder. Good. And then from here, nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Unwind your hands, you're gonna plant your right hand, turn your right toes forward. Ardha Chandrasana, maybe come onto your fingertips. Reaching left arm to sky. <laughs> Maybe check out your left thumb. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, bring that left hand down. I'm gonna come onto the ball or even the tippy toe of that right foot. Bend your left knee, reach the left knee towards the sky. And maybe see if you find a pickup. Try to straighten your arms. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Just find a squat coming down. Mm -hmm. Shake your hands out if you need to. You can let your left shoulder come in towards the left inner knee. Maybe fly the arms. Maybe turn the palms up. Maybe more. Look over the right shoulder. And look forward. And let your, let go of the hands. Let your left hand reach forward. Turn your left toes towards the top of the mat. Ardha Chandrasana. Anything you want to do with the gaze. Maybe look up at your right thumb. Even here. Both hands come to the floor. You're gonna bend your right knee, come onto the ball or the tippy toe of your left foot. Externally rotate the arms. And just see if you can pick up nice and light. Pushing the floor away. This time, bring your heels towards your sits bones. Draw your knee, oh, maybe not. It's gonna see if you go to Bokasana. That didn't work that time. We'll try it again. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Reach your arms out to the side, do your circle. Forward Vastasana, exhale, Samastiti. Breathe in here. All right. Reach the arms to the sky. Allow the tailbone to lengthen as you maybe increase the back bend. Breathing here, and maybe reach that right palm behind you, facing out, reaching over with your left hand. Go with Kasana arms, exhale, dive it in. And one, inhale, extend the spine, just take it through vinyasa. Breathing here. Try to let the sides of the waist get as long as possible, and then let the front and back of the waist be as long as possible. So if you're using the hands and feet to do that, Really rooting down through the palms. Maybe even finding a sense of hollowness in your armpit as you draw back. And then allowing your heels to come down or that idea, drawing the hands feet towards each other so you can lengthen from that way. Lift the heels. Bend the knees. Maybe find your crane or curl pose. Slow it down. And bring the left foot down. You're just going to reach that um, right leg to the sky and open up Janu Shirshasana. Check out your thumb. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Unwind, maybe bring the back of the hands to the floor just to stretch out the wrists. You stay in like a standing split while you do that. And then plant your palms. 
Lift that right knee to sky. I'll come onto the tippy toe if I can. Keep that external rotation of the arms. You want those triceps reaching back. And maybe lifting up, nice straight arms. Come hand up. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. First circles to come up. Exhale, samasthiti. Take that to the other side. Reaching up, opening the arms. Ani Vitalasana, then let your left palm come behind you. Right hand's gonna reach up and over. Gomukhasana arms, exhale, dive it in. Shake your head, yes and no. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale through your vinyasa. Allow yourself to use your Adho Mukha Svanasana as a space to explore your breath more fully. And to invite a reconnection to your breath if you lost it. And set yourself up to come on forward. Bring the right foot down, reach back with that left hand, open up to John or Shirshasana. Got your thumb. Then as I exhale, I'm let the hands come to the floor, find a standing split that might be where you work. And let the back of the hands rest on the floor for a moment. And then set it up, opening that left knee out to the side. Pushing the floor away. Sits bones towards your heels. Oh, I haven't done this in so long. Didn't work. Inhale, extend your spine, exhale, fold. I'm gonna reach those arms out. Forward with Salsen, exhale, Samastiti. We'll try it again later in practice. All right, let's sink the hips as we bend the knees. Utkatas. Nice deep inhale. Here's your exhale. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Get low. Lie in the arms. And then fold in. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Back of the hands to the floor. Plant your hands through your vinyasa. And spend a moment in your up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left toes turn out. Step that right foot up. Virabhadrasana one. Breathing here. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Let's just find simple twist. Left toes to sky. Reach that right arm up. And then let your hand come to the earth. Prasarada Padottanasana. Adjust your back foot if you need to. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, fold it in. Any variation of um, Niralamba that you want? Coming on up. Breathing here. So shoulder blades towards the sky. We're going to keep reaching with your left toes. As you bend your right knee, open that knee out to the side. And then saw it across, trying to bring your right heel as high as you can on the left leg. Reach your inner right knee away. Fold your left knee, do some ankle circles. And then use your ankle circles to scooch in and find your inverted lotus. Reaching the knees towards the sky, shoulder blades towards the sky. Lifting up, nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Take your hands to tripod. All right, elbows coming straight out from the shoulders, right over the wrists. 
unwind. And then as you exhale, I'm just gonna come on down Skandasana. Turn the left toes out, right toes will point to sky. Breathing here, moving nice and easy, taking your time. If you like to bind this up, you're welcome to. I don't like to do that. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, root into that left foot. And walk it over to your right foot. Just glide your right foot back underneath your belly button. This time, let's reach your left leg away from the body. And come on up. Try to keep your arms straight as you find your pickup. And maybe even try to open up into your lotus. Just try it. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold when you're ready to come down. Reach your arms out to the side, do some more circle, forward vasasana. Exhale, samasthiti. Breathing nice and easy. Shake your hands up. Sink those hips as you bend the knees. Get that elbow across, inviting a twist. Maybe see your thumb. Exhale, dive in. Ardha Uttanasana through Vinyasa. Ward Mukhasvanasana. Exhale, Ardha Mukhasvanasana. Right toes turn out, stepping that left foot up. Near Vajrasana one. Breathing here. Exhale, right hand under the shoulder. Pivot that right heel to sky, open up. Simple twist. And then just let that hand come down. You're gonna turn the toes for Prasada Padottanasana. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, hinging down. Top of the head to the floor. If it doesn't come down, maybe you're working towards that. You can always use blocks, right? If your knees are bending, use blocks and make your arms longer so you can straighten the legs. Okay. Breathing here, any variation of uh, near lamba or any uh, unsupported headstand that you like, or even supported headstands, fine. Shoulder blades to sky, coming on up. Breathing here, this time I have you reach the right toes to the sky, bend your left knee, open the knee out to the side. You wanna get it as high as possible, sort of opening it up and then sawing it across. Turn your right toes out. Bend your right knee, ankle circles, right? And ankle circle it in. Ah, breathing here. There we go. And then reach those knees towards the sun. All right? To make it a little tighter. Use your toes to do that. Shoulder blades to the sky. And breathe here. Scoop your belly in. Nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, try pot. Open the legs out to the side. You're gonna hinge down. Uh, Skandasana, turn the right toes out, bend into your left knee, or uh, bend into your right knee, left toes point to sky, breathing here. Nice deep inhale here, push into your right foot. You're just going to walk it around, left toes point forward, glide that foot back under your belly button, and come onto the ball of the foot. Maybe reach, keep the legs straight this time. Toes pointing down. And then invite your pick up. Take your time. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Reach those arms in a circle. It's coming all the way up, forward by Stassen. Exhale, Samastiti. Gosh, some days work better than others, right? Breathing here nice and easy. Are we 54? Okay. Inhale, reach those arms to sky. Exhale, open. Dive in. 
heart hug of Tanasana. Plant the palms and move through your vinyasa. Cobra upward facing dog. I'm just going to spend a moment in up dog. I want to open up pectoralis minor. It usually helps with my inversion. Breathing here. The exhale, the thighs come down right above the knee. And I'm just going to lengthen the front of the body down. Reach the right arm out to the right. Anywhere between 12 and 3. Roll onto the right side body. And bring the left foot to the floor. Maybe the right. Breathing here. One out. And we'll reach the left thumb out to the side, anywhere between 12 and 9. All right? Right foot behind me, remain to the left. One out. Find the Sphinx pose. Take your left hand at an angle, bring your right hand next to your hip, and just bend the right knee. Bend the heel towards the outer hip. Any arm variation? Take your hand to the inner ankle. Keep rolling your right inner thigh to sky. Get a little different shoulder opening. Breathing here. Walk your hands in different uh, variation of Bhujangasana, any variation of that you'd like. And come on down. Right hand comes in at an angle. I'm going to roll the left inner thigh to sky. Fingertips next to my hip, bend the knee. Heel towards the outer hip. Maybe turning the fingers forward, left elbow to sky. And square the chest. And then you can grab the inner ankle. I usually do this the other way. It's more comfortable for my shoulder, whatever you like. Open up, start to release. Exhale, come on down. Take your hands next to your lower ribs. Cobra, upward facing dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, you can downward facing dog. Turn the left toes out, step the right foot up. Your Vajrasana one. This time, reach the left arm forward and take a nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Left elbow to the outside of that right knee. Stack the hands. Maybe look up. Maybe even fly the arms. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale. Let's unwind. Hands come to the inside. Adjust your feet for Prasarna Padottanasana. All right, take your hands to your hips, nice and strong in the core, and hinge up, breathing here. Let's find D. So lengthen the tailbone, hands to your ribs, open the heart. Exhale, hinging down. And maybe find your toe lock, index in, middle finger together, sealed with your thumb. Crown of the head to the earth, shoulder blades lift. As you lift the toes, you're engaging the arc of the foot, not crushing your fingers. Nice deep inhale here, lift the heels, maybe reach the arms out to the side. And come on up. Try to keep the arms nice and straight or any other variation. 
uh, left toes reach to the sky, I'm going to bend the right knee, get that heel in as high as possible on that left leg and turn the left toes out, find your ankle circles, and bring it in, reach the knees to sky, hands to a tripod, and this time as you exhale, find Kukatasana. Get those shins nice and high on the arms. I'm going to push straight down with my hands. Ooh. Let's see if I can lift up. Nice deep inhale here. Exhale very gently and slowly. Come back down. Open the legs out. Skandasana. Left toes turn out, right toes point to sky. Push into your left foot and walk it around to the right. And then any way you want to find your pickup. And maybe Invite that lotus handstand. <laughs> Gently unwind. Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold. Reach it out to the side, forward twist asan. Exhale, samasthiti. All right. So reach the arms, open it up on your vitasana. Exhale, diving in, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, plant the palms through your vinyasa. Inhale, Cobra Rock Dog. Bring the thighs to the floor. You're going to lengthen the front of the body forward. Let's just move through some Cobra iterations. My fingertips, I'm an Astabanda with the hands. In the belly scooped in, coming up and down. And hold it up, breathing here, nice and easy. Exhale, I'm going to lengthen forward. Send my hands up, maybe reach back with my arms. Shalambhasana, maybe bending the knees. For John Yarasan. Opening the quads any way you like. And then moving through, I'm going to turn the right toes out and step that left foot up. Virabhadrasana one. Right hand's gonna come forward, and I'm gonna invite my twist. Breathing here. Maybe stacking the hands, maybe flying the arms. You can always pivot that back heel if you want. I'm gonna take a nice deep inhale here, and as I exhale, I'm gonna unwind. Set my feet up. Lengthen all four sides of the waist and hinging up to stand. Lengthen the low, uh, low back. Allow myself to really enjoy that front body extension. Extending the spine. Exhale, diving in. Shake your head yes and no. Maybe the same variation you just did. Maybe a different variation. Keep the belly in. Shoulder blades to sky, lifting the heels. Lifting up. This time I'm going to let the right toes reach to sky, fold the left knee. Close the knee joint. 
and then saw it across as high as I can and then turn the knee out. Right toes turn out. I'm going to find my ankle circles. That little half turn, that little quarter turn, right? Use your toes, use your feet to get it in nice and tight. And then reach the legs to sky. Nice deep inhale here. Tripod, move slow. And then as you exhale, I'm gonna hinge the hips. Getting those shins as high on the triceps as I can. I'll push straight down into the earth. Lifting up, try to straighten your arms. And then nice and gentle, bring it back down. Right, no slamming heads. Separate the feet. Hinge it down, right toes turn out, stand awesome. Feet in here, toes to the sky. Root into the right foot, you're gonna walk it around to that left leg. Glide the foot back. Then any way you want. Same technique oh, to find your lotus, but each side's different. <laughs> Inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold, reach those arms out to the side. So I couldn't get the foot in high enough, so it was here instead of up here, which is why that didn't work. All right. Take your hands off. Let's see what's on your side. A nice deep inhale here. There was a time when I always hit those. Okay, sink the hips as you bend the knees. Oop to toss and and then just so you can come through Malasana. Heels might lift. Maybe grab your heels. Bring the heels down. Reach the hands forward. I'm just gonna gently come on down. I'm gonna have you roll it out. Left foot to the floor, turn the toes out, bend the right knee. Saw it in, so heels towards the sits bone. Come across the body. And reach that inner right knee away. Reach the left leg to sky, turn that knee out. And see without any hands, if you can do your ankle circle, get it in nice and tight. All right, just cheated there a little bit. Take a nice deep inhale here, and as I exhale, I'm gonna grab my bum. All right. Gently try to find a nice flat line on the floor. Grab my bum again, come on to my elbows. And just see if I can bring the top of my head down and then maybe even grab my feet. Right. Matsyasana fish pose. Nice deep inhale here. As I exhale, chin to chest. And maybe reach that left leg to sky. Ooh, I'm gonna move nice and careful with that inner knee. Glide my hands up. If I'm grabbing the ankle or anywhere on the leg, you want your shoulder blades to lift. Coax the shoulder blades down nice and gentle, opening the hamstring. Nice deep inhale here as you exhale, lift the shoulder blades again, belly into the spine, float the left toes, and switch. Little tap, bring it in, right? 
Fill it in. So that was two. This is three. This is four. This is five. Six. We're going to do ten. Eight. Nine. Cross the left ankle over the right, Gardasana legs, Gardasana, Gardasana, Supta Gardasana. And then elbow to knee, two, three, just five. Outside, five, four, three, two, one. Inside, five, four, three, two, one. Close the sky, lift that up. Navasana, breathing here. Good, as you exhale, feet to the floor, you're gonna roll it up. Draw the Left knee in, reach the right leg long, open that knee out to the side, saw it across. Reach that inner left knee away from the body, turn your right toes out. And right leg to the sky, you're gonna turn those toes out. See if you can get your ankle circles and find your lotus. Nice and tight, tighten it up. Let's see if you can Allow the thighs to come down. Draw your little ribs in. Maybe invite a back bend. Or maybe even grab your feet. Elbows in by your side. Chin to chest. Very gently come on out. Let that left leg reach to the sky. You're gonna grab your ankle or wherever you need to grab in your leg. Some of you might be your hamstring. Hang off the leg. Exhale, roll it down. Just let the hamstring open. Keep that sits bones towards the top of the mat. <sighs> Scoop your belly, hover the right heel, and then we're just going to switch to a little bit of core. Switch it up. Little pulses. That's two. That's three. Four. Five. We're gonna do ten. Six. Seven. Nine, ten, snuggle, left knee behind the right, left arm over the right, and five, touching elbow to knee, four, three, supta gardasana, two, one, outside, five, four, three, two, one, and to the inside, five, four, three, Two, one, gently release. Reach the legs to the sky, reach your hands nice and long. Navasana, bow pose. Breathing here. Good, you're gonna bring your hands down and I'm gonna find a blanket and we're gonna move towards shoulder stand today. 
can always do shoulder stand. I feel like today we're gonna take shoulder stand to Matsyasana. We might bring shoulder stand to the side. See how it, see how it goes. So I use a blanket to protect my neck, and I want the blanket to be right where. So my back of the head is on the floor. My neck has a lot of room. And the blanket is lined up at the top of the shoulder. It's not tucked into the cervical spine, right? So it's not this. It's here. Some people use two blankets. Some people use five, right? Knees into your chest. It's nice deep inhale here. Exhale, I'm going to reach the legs to sky. And I want to find some hip flexion. So let the leg bones move into the socket. And allow that flexion to draw the thighs towards your chest. And then just reach your feet overhead and you can scooch in, right? Maybe interlace your fingers, Kalasana plow pose. You can let your hands come to your back. The higher your hands are on your back, the easier it is to get the hips right over the shoulders, right? Chin lifts off the chest, breathing here, and you can reach up with your left toes, bend your right knee, and maybe invite that lotus in, breathing here, keeping the chin lifted. Hands to your inner knees, nice straight arms. Keep the chin lifting. And then Pindasana. Reach the legs up, keep the chin lifted. Kalasana plow pose, reach those feet overhead. Right, and let's roll it out. and easy and take a moment <sighs> and the feet to the floor hands down knees to chest reach those arms to sky allow myself to Keep the thighs close to the chest as I invite that flexion in. Reaching overhead. I am using my arms into the blanket. Walking your hands up as high as possible. This time I'm going to keep the um, right toes reaching, bend my left knee. Find my lotus. Maybe reach up with nice straight arms. I don't really, I can actually reach the arms up and down, right? Chin's lifting as I exhale. I'm gonna fold in. inhale here and I'm going to bring my hands down I'm just going to allow myself to roll out into my back bend Matsyasana Come on 
Now, chin to chest to come out gently on one leg. Give it in here. And I'm just gonna come on up and take my bone blanket out of the way. Might have it for my Shavasana. Going down. Maybe rock side to side. And then right ankle over the left knee, bring hips right, knees left. Supta Ardha Matyadrasana. Back through center, I'm gonna take it the other way. Hips to the left, knees to the right. center, maybe rock side to side, and then set yourself up for your final relaxation on the knees, link it to go over me because I get cold, I get cold so easily. Before I let the breath go, I'm just going to um, invite a really easeful pranayama. It's one I use a lot, actually. I'm taking a couple uh, preparatory breaths, nice and easy. And for my next inhale, I'm just going to fill the belly and hold. Fill the ribs and hold all the way up to the chest to hold at the top. And exhale like a wave. Take a couple recovery breaths before the next time. Just fill the belly and hold. Let the ribs expand and hold. Feel to the capacity of the chest holding at the top. And then release like a wave. A couple of recovery breaths. Next inhale, you're going to inhale like a wave, belly, ribs, chest, hold. Empty the chest and hold. Empty the ribs and hold. And empty completely, drawing belly button to spine. Hold the breath out. And release, a couple recovery breaths. Inhale like a wave. Release the chest. Release the ribs. Release the belly. Hold the breath out. And then release. Easy inhales and exhales. Let yourself drift off. Give yourself permission to trust the support of the earth.
yourself soft and notice any little sensations within, maybe they let go.
you are in your breath cycle. Begin to bring some awareness back to your breath. Take a nice deep inhale in. Exhale through the mouth. Big fingers and toes. Do the snake circles. Reach out through the arms and legs. And then as you exhale, knees to chest. Maybe pick a side of the body to roll onto if that's your way. And then make your way up to a nice, comfortable, seated position. I sense that happened during this practice. Thanks for playing along. Please like and subscribe if these practices are interesting for you. And if there's anything you want to work on, uh, feel free to let me know. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, and perfect peace. Namaste, yogins. Thank you.